I'm Elizabeth Tabish playing Mary Magdalene on The Chosen. This time around, the hardest thing is just being in the heat, only crying for the miracles, which is good, good cries, good tears, um, and then no possession. I'm not Lilith anymore. Most of the first scenes that I had were primarily alone, and I didn't know anyone on set, and so it was a lot of like internal work and a lot of emotional work. And then as we go into more of the Mary Magdalene stuff, and then these four episodes, it's all really like social and like tons of people and all the disciples are like gathering. So it's been like a little bit more of a, a fun time. It's like more of a party. <laughs> it's just been a totally different vibe, but it feels like living kind of the same parallel of like what Mary got to go through from being like pretty solitary and you know depressed into having a community of all of these really sweet brothers and being around Jesus and seeing these like incredible things happening. It's kind of happening now. It's awesome. I, it's actually turned into like a mini family. As an actress, I really like like the challenge of having to go deep and having to get emotional. So like it was still a wonderful experience doing the Lilith stuff because it was like what every actor wants to, to see if they can do. You shoot the stuff, you feel however you feel about it, um, and you never really know how it's gonna turn out in editing. When I first saw it, I was really happy with it. I usually have a really hard time like watching myself in any sort of projects, but this was the first time I was like, this, is, this isn't me. Like I, I see a character and they did such a good job with, with the vibe and the mood of, of these episodes. There's been so many wonderful comments of how like the, the first episode has affected people, especially the ending, um, and it's, exciting to be a part of that even though it doesn't feel like me being a part of it it's still really like it's nice to see the response be so overwhelmingly like positive i just want to understand how it happened it makes two of us <laughs> this project when i booked it i was about to quit acting and i was on the tail end of like a three year long depression <laughs> um and just kind of searching for like purpose in my life and um, you know working on on projects and trying to stay motivated and and creative I was doing a lot of commercial work and just pretty creatively unfulfilled and then I was working on directing stuff but it, it was something just wasn't working I moved in with my mom and she was like just take a breather you know just like just you know give yourself some space to to figure things out so I called my agent I was like stop submitting me he submitted me to this <laughs> without telling me which thank god right. thank god um, and he sent me the scripts for the audition I was not expecting to have the emotional reaction I had and just reading through all of it I was surprised crying and <laughs> I connected to it in a really um, specific way this isn't just I can play this it, this is me this is, right. this was, it was like a very strange connection. And since I was a kid, I always loved Mary of Magdala. There was just like this, this is what I've been wanting to play my whole life. Hello, Mary. Hello. The process of working with Liz has been incredible all the way from the beginning when we cast her. Mary Magdalene was one of the last uh, characters cast because it's such an important role. Um, and I felt like God from the beginning has made it very clear in multiple ways that I couldn't get this one wrong, that this was an iconic role, an important role for emotional, spiritual, intellectual reasons. And I remember when we finally saw Liz's audition, it was a massive sigh of relief. And then the process of working with her has been even better. Of course, oh, please. Please, of course, I keep saying of course a lot. Um, everyone, this is uh, this is the man that I told you about who um, helped me. Uh, Liz has brought both sides of the character both the Lilith side, which was the demon-possessed, troubled side, and then the Mary Magdalene side, which is the redeemed side. She's brought equal beauty and um, humanity to both, and it's been an absolute gift uh, to the show, and she has become one of our, the, the favorite characters of our fans and viewers, and a character that's also been one of the most meaningful. And so when I got this role it was like this enormous relief to see that it's not just like Mary Magdalene in 
in the gang, it's like this actual, very intense background that's really realistic. And I think it's realistic for a lot of women who have gone through some trauma or have a difficult past that they don't know how to really get out of. And I think it's so beautifully written to show her struggling and trying and ultimately having to submit to Jesus to, to take that weight away from her and the transformation that occurs after. I'm just like really lucky as an actress to be able to, to get to play a role this like rich and, and sort of varied. This is such a unique project and it's giving a lot of history and background to characters that seem really one dimensional when you just read them. Um, and I'm, I'm excited for people to see like th these next four episodes and see the whole season as an entirety to see like what's really going on. And it's, it's beautiful and it's incredible. And I think it's going to be life changing for the viewers. I know it has been for like, for me and for a lot of the other cast and crew. Hi, I'm Dallas, I'm the director of The Chosen, and I'm standing on the set right now where we are filming future episodes. The Chosen isn't a movie in theaters, it's not a mini-series, it's a multi-season show, and you can watch episodes one through four right now exclusively at thechosen.tv.